Hey there, folks. Welcome back for day 30, the final day of 30 days of banjo. Today, we're going to look at the last four measures of Will the Circle Be Unbroken, which sounds like this. So much like the other things we looked at in this tune, it's a lot of material that we recognize but maybe haven't used in this context. So let's go measure by measure. This first measure is just a forward-backward roll, like this. It's just that that first note, we slide from the second fret to the third fret. It's a lot like the other licks we've played, except with a different roll. Now let's take a look at this second measure. It involves some of the patterns we've looked at, like forward roll, backward roll, that sort of thing, but not really in the sort of way that we've already seen. But it does also include this pull-off that we have seen recently. So you're just going to want to go through the tab slowly and make sure you're getting everything in just the right place. So this next measure is actually a really important lick that we play all the time. Sounds like this. There's a bunch of different ways of playing it. It just happens to work best in this way, in this context. So all we have to do is thumb on the third string, middle on the first string, then it's kind of this forward-backward thing with a slide in there. So just try that without the slide. Then try it with the slide. Then it ends with the pinch pattern that we're so familiar with. Nothing too difficult there. So here's all four measures together. Now, assuming you could play that four measures, then ideally it would be really cool if we could play all four four measure sections together. That would sound like this, slowly. But don't worry if you can't do that yet. This final lesson is just setting you up for what you're probably going to be doing the entire time you're learning to play banjo. It's not really something you can do overnight. I know that we did a lot of things in one day in this series, but most of the time you're gonna be working on bigger projects and it's gonna take more time and it's gonna take your patience. So I would guess that there's probably things from this entire series that you don't have completely figured out yet. You can't play perfectly yet. That's fine. I have a lot of things that I can't play perfectly yet, and I always will, and I'm always going to be working on it. So here's my recommendation to you. Take all of these things slowly, take them methodically, and be careful with them, and take it really seriously. Don't take it too personally. It doesn't reflect too poorly on you, really, but take it seriously if it's important to you. It's important to me, so I try to practice it all the time. If it's important to you, then you should practice it as well. You might be wondering now, where do you go from this point? Well, I've got a lot of other lessons here on YouTube. So in the description of this video, you're going to find a lot of playlists for different things that you can study, like backup, music theory, fiddle tunes, vocal songs like the ones we've already learned. There's a lot of different things you can learn. It's really just up to what you're interested in. From this point though, you're familiar with a lot of the techniques that you're gonna see in a lot of lessons from a lot of other teachers. So I'm also including links to a lot of other teachers on YouTube and other places that you can learn because I teach here and I have pretty good lessons, I think, but they might not be the best for you. You might find somebody else that works a lot better for you. And ultimately, that's what's important. That being said, if you did enjoy this series and you wanna learn more from me, there are a lot of lessons here on YouTube. And if you'd like, you can get even more content at patreon.com slash Banjo. That's also where a lot of people decide to generously support the work that I do. It's how I make a living and I really appreciate that as well.
And even if you don't have this tuned down quite yet, you still have learned quite a lot over the course of this 30 days. You've learned a couple tunes, you've learned how to play backup, a lot of techniques. There are a lot of things that you have already. And now you can keep working on them. You can make them better. You can always make them better. That's part of the fun. But don't forget, we still have to talk about the featured banjo player of this lesson, which is Mike Munford. Mike's an amazing banjo player who can play just like J.D. Crow, as well as play amazing fiddle tunes on the banjo. A difficult feat for anyone to play both of those styles. So I hope you enjoy the playlist that I've left in the description that you can listen to. And of course, if you haven't by now, feel free to subscribe to this channel and like this video. That's a huge thing that you can do to help me make more videos. If you do that, I really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all for me. See you next time.